Okay. Uh, so good day, everyone. So for our lesson for four, we will be proceeding with other blood group systems. So it consists of other major blood groups and yung mga minor blood groups natin. So this discussion will be divided into three para hindi ganun kahaba yung mga video. Okay? So this is the first part. Okay, so let's start with a little overview. Okay, so blood group antigens are defined by carbohydrates attached to glycoprotein or glycolipid structures or by amino acids on proteins. So we have Lewis, T, e, and I blood groups. They are carbohydrate-based blood groups. So their antigens are not encoded directly by their genes. Rather, the genes encode specific glycosyl transferase that will synthesize the carbohydrate epitopes by sequential addition of sugars to a precursor. We have MNS, Duffy, Kel, and Kid naman. They are significant in routine transfusion medicines. So, one or more antigens produced by alleles at a single locus or loci, loci so closely linked. So, do not na determine kung ano siya, how they beca became a system. So, they are antigens produced by alleles na magkakasama or closely linked sa isang locus. Okay? So, most blood group alleles are codominant and expressed in express a corresponding antigen. So we have uh, two terms you should note. Uh, remember, we have a morphic. This one are the silent alleles. So they make no antigen. Okay? And then the null phenotype. So null phenotype results when paired chromosomes carry the same silent allele. Okay? So if both silent allele ang namana from the father and the mother, ang ma-express sa child is the null phenotype. Null meaning uh, wala. Okay, so no. Hindi siya naka-express either of the antigens na supposedly present sa blood group. So blood group antigens, they can be detected by alloantibodies or exposure to non-self RBC antigens introduced by blood transfusion or pregnancy. So some um, some antibodies are not naturally occurring sa katawan natin. So they are only, uh, we are only immunized kapag na-expose tayo through uh, blood transfusion or pregnancy. Significant blood groups. Okay, so we have Kel, Duffy, Kid, and S blood group system. So insignificant blood groups naman is Lewis, P1, MN, Lutheran, and I. So, insignificant, not meaning na hindi na siya aralin. It only means na uh, bihira siyang mag-cause ng uh, reaction. Okay. First one, uh, let's proceed to one of the significant blood group system. We have the KEL system, ISDT number 006. Okay, so, this one is the first blood group system discovered after the introduction of antiglobulin testing. So, anti-K so was identified in 1946 in the serum of Mrs. Kelleher. So, sa kanya nakuha yung name ng blood group. Okay, so, Kel, K-E-L, as the system symbol. So, we have the KX system. Okay, under ng, or not under, parang sisters siya ni Kel. So, ISBT number is here 19. Okay, so, XK as the system symbol. So, the XK gene encodes the KX antigen. So, Kel antigen expression is dependent upon the presence of the XK protein. So, if walang XK or hindi na kuha si X, uh, KX antigen, hindi naman na si KX antigen, hindi may express si KEL antigen. Okay, so that's why connected silang dalawa. 
So, the absence of X, kaya yung results in macleoid syndrome. So, kung wala kang XK, wala kang KEL antigens. It will result in macleoid syndrome. So, here are the different antigens and antibodies of the KEL system. So, we have KEL gene found in chromosome 7. So, we have different antigens. K na malaki, K niyong maliit, KU, KTA, KTB, JSA, JSB. We have different phenotypes and different antibodies to different antigens. It corresponds to these antigens. Okay, so, view nyo na lang to. So, we have K and K antigen. So, usually, ah, hindi naman usually, most of the time, yung mga antigens, they are expressed or na sinusulat natin sila, isang capital, isang lowercase na letter. So, we have KEL blood group antigens are found only on RBCs and not other parts of the body. So, we have K antigen, yung malaki muna. This one can be detected on fetal, R, uh, fetal RBCs as early as 10 weeks and is well developed at birth. It is very immunogenic. So prevalence is low and the chance of receiving a K plus, uh, K positive unit is small. Okay? Prevalence is low meaning konting tao lang ang merong K antigen na malaki. We have K and non antigen or also called Celano. This one naman can be detected at 7 weeks after birth. So, these antigens are not denatured by the routine blood bank enzymes, physine and papain, but are destroyed by trypsin and chymotrypsin when used in combination. Anti-K. Okay? So, malaking K. This one is the most common antibody of the KEL drug group system seen in the blood bank. Okay, so it is usually IgG and is reactive in the antiglobulin phase. But some agglutinates in the saline suspended RBCs. So made in response to antigen exposure through pregnancy and transfusion and can persist for many years. Okay, so made in response meaning it is not naturally occurring. Okay, so wala, hindi lahat ng tao may anti-K. So, hindi porket meron ka, uh, wala kang K antigen, meron ka na anti-K. So, no, it is made in response to exposure just like the RH antibody. Okay. So, antibodies to K, maliit, we have KTB, JSB, and other high-frequency kill antigens. So, antibodies to these antigens are rare because so few people lack the antigen. Okay. So, they also parallel anti-K serology characteristics and clinical significance. So, patients with antibodies, so high-prevalence antigens, are encouraged to donate autologous units and, if possible, participate in a rare donor program. So, bibihira ang um, uh, persons with these types of antibodies because very few people ang walang antigen for this. Okay? Kaya siya, ayun. Okay. Almost the same to antibodies or KTA, JSA, and other low-frequency kill antigens naman. So, antibodies naman are very rare then for them because so few people are exposed to the antigen. So, bibihira lang din kasi yung nag-carry ng antigen. Okay? So, uh, very few people lang ang nag-expose. So, konti lang din sila. So, they are also encouraged to donate autologous units or kaya rare blood donors. Uh, donations. So, this one is most often detected through unexpected incompatible cross-match or cases of HDFN. KO, or K0 phenotype. This one is the null phenotype of the KEL, anti KEL blood group system. So, none of the KEL system antigens is expressed. Okay? Kaya siya, uh, K0. So, Kahit anong antigen, negative siya. 
So it may produce anti-KU if immunized. So it is an antibody that reacts with all cells except of the those of the uh, K0 phenotype. So anti-KU has caused both HDFN and HDRs. So HDFN, hemolytic disease of the fetus and newborn, and HDR is hemolytic transfusion reactions. Okay. So macleoid phenotype and syndrome. Okay, so this one is first discovered in a young male medical student who initially appeared to be a Kel null, but demonstrated weak expression expression of K na maliit, KTB and JSB. Okay. This is very rare, infecting only males because it is X-linked. Okay. X-linked ang kanyang uh, genetic composition. So individuals with the macleoid phenotype are acanthocytic with decreased deformability and reduced in vivo survival. So acanthocytic si R, uh, RBC and reduced in vivo survival. That means they have uh, hemolytic anemia. Okay, but often well compensated naman. Okay, so these are the following na makikita din natin sa mga persons with macleoid syndrome. So, reticulocytosis, uh, marami silang reticulocytes because uh, nakakompensate sa body. Marami kasing RBC ang namamatay. So, the body has to compensate na magproduce ang magproduce ng bagong RBC. So, reticulocyte, if you don't remember, is the parang baby RBC. Okay? So, uh, yun, reticulocytosis. You can also notice bilirubinemia in patients. So, hemolytic anemia, nagbaburst ng RBC. Uh, inside the uh, blood vessels, so yung hemoglobin, hemoglobin in the bloodstream, they um, convert to bilirubin. So we have bilirubinemia. So increase of bilirubin sa kanilang sirup. Okay, we have splenomegaly. Splenomegaly, lumalaki si spleen. Spleen is where the RBCs are uh, destroyed okay, or phagotized. So Naapektuhan din si spleen since sobrang dami yung kanyang kailangang RBC na uh, unisen or process. Okay? And we have reduced serum haptoglobin levels. Haptoglobin is, the, uh, is a protein na nagbabind with uh, free hemoglobin in the bloodstream. bloodstream. Okay? So, increase ang hemoglobin in the bloodstream due to bursting of the RBC. So, decrease si serum haptoglobin kasi magbabind siya dun sa free flowing na Hemoglobin. Okay, so this uh, characteristics are something you can see with people na merong macleod syndrome. Okay, so they develop a slow progressive form of muscular dystrophy between ages 40 and 50 years and also cardiomegaly. Okay, so they also have a reflexia or lack of deep tendon reflex. We have choriform movement, so well-coordinated but involuntary movements. Also, X-linked chronic granulomatous disease or CGD. Okay, so that's it for macleod syndrome. Okay, so let's proceed with the next blood group system. We have the Duffy system, ISBT number 008. Okay, so the Duffy symbol is FY. So, named after Mr. Duffy, a hemophilia who had multiple transfusions. So, found to have the first described example of anti-FYA. Okay. So, uh, singit ko lang, yung mga nakikita nyo palang, uh, kunyari, ayan, FYA, sometimes yung A ko hindi nasa taas, nasa baba din siya. Kasi yung PowerPoint, wala siyang option na ganun. So, I have to copy it pa it sa Word and nagugulo yung buong PowerPoint. So sometimes hindi ko na siya kayaangat. Pero ganyan yung tamang pagsulat sa kanya. FYA, FYB, so on. Okay? Okay. Ayan. So let's proceed. FYB antigen. So found in the serum of a woman who had three pregnancies. So FYA negative and B negative. So, wala both of the antigen. 
RBCs resist infection in vitro by the monkey malaria organism Plasmodium nolesi. It could also resist infection by Plasmodium vivax and was reported among African Americans. So the people, yung mga taong walang Duffy antigen, they are known to have Plasmodium nolesi resistance and Plasmodium vivax. So, our null phenotype, ang null phenotype ni F1 ay uh, ni Duffy, meaning no Duffy antigens talaga at all. They are a common genotype in black persons. Okay. So, here are the antigens and antibodies of the Duffy system. So, dalawa lang antigen natin, we have A and B. Antibodies natin, A and B din. Okay, so we have different phenotypes. Okay, so A plus, uh, A plus B negative, so meaning na inherit si A, FYA, pero hindi si FYB. For this one, both, kasi pala is positive. This one na inherit si B, but not si A, and then kabalik natin lang. Okay. So, for FYA and FYB antigens, these are the most important Duffy antigens and routine blood bank. So, they can be identified on fetal RBCs as early as six weeks with gestational age and are well developed at birth. Okay? So, identified in some body tissues, they can be found in the brain, the colon, and the telium, lungs, spleen, thyroid, thymus, and kidney cells. Okay? So, they are destroyed by common proteolytic enzymes such as ficine, papain, bromelain, and chymotrypsin. So anti-FYA and anti-FYB naman, they are usually IgG and react best at the antiglobulin phase. They are associated with acute and delayed hemolytic transfusion reactions. However, hemolysis is not often severe. So anti-FYA is a common antibody which occurs three times less frequently than anti-K. Okay, anti-FYB naman is 20 times less common than anti-FYA. We have the third antigen, FYX antigen. This one was first described in 1965 as a new allele at the FY locus. So it does not produce a distinct antigen, but rather is an inherited weak form of FYB that reacts with some examples of anti-FYB. So individuals with FYX may type uh, FYB negative, but their RBCs absorb and elute anti-FYB. So they react with anti-FYB. So there is no anti-FYX. So, wala pong antibody for FYX antigen. We have FY3 antigen and antibody. So, anti-FY3 was found in the serum of a, a null or Duffy A and B negative white Australian female. So, it reacted with all RBCs tested except those of the uh, negative phenotype. So, Duffy negative phenotype. So, it is not destroyed by enzymes. Okay? So, rare antibody siya made by uh, Duffy negative individuals who lack the Duffy glycoprotein. FY5 naman, anti FY5 was found in the serum of a Duffy negative black child who later died of leukemia. Okay, so molecular structure of FY5 is unknown, but it appears to be the result of interaction between the RB complex and the Duffy glycoprotein. So it reacts with cells from uh, FY negative and FY, F Duffy negative and negative 4, 3, FY3, white female, but it did not react with 
uh, A positive or B positive RH null RBCs. Okay. Also reacted weakly with uh, positive FYA positive or FYB plus positive uh, RH negative RBCs. Okay, so next blood group system, we have the KID system, ISBT number 009. Okay. So anti-JKA was found is in the serum of Mrs. KID, whose infant had HBFN. So its system symbol is JK. Okay. So antibodies of this system are believed to be difficult to detect and are a common cause of HDRs. Sorry. Okay. So we have these are the different antigens and antibodies. Okay, so for this one, so the lower ang gene, we have JKA and JKB gene, both found in the chromosome 18. So antigens we have 3 A B and 3 and then different antibodies. So JKA and JKB antigens, so these antigens are commonly found on RBCs of most individuals. They are well developed on the RBCs of neonates. Okay, so JKA has been detected on fetal RBC as early as 11 weeks. JKB naman as early as 7 weeks. They are rarely associated with severe HDFN because they are not very immunogenic. They are also not denatured by papain or physin. So treatment of RBCs with enzyme generally enhances reactivity with kid antibodies. So we have anti-JKA and anti-JKB. They have notorious reputation in the blood bank. So immune antibodies, they are made in response to pregnancy or transfusion. So they are not naturally occurring. So they are detected in the antiglobulin test or antiglobulin phase. So common cause of HTR din sila, so especially of the delayed type. So although intravascular hemolysis has been noted in severe reactions, so coated red cells are more often removed extravascularly in the liver. They are associated with infrequent and mild cases of HDFN. So JK uh, negative AB phenotype. So people with a null phenotype, so they lack the JKA and JKB. And the common antigen, JK3. So they are most abundant among Polynesians though they are also being identified in Filipinos, Indonesians, Chinese, and Japanese. So the null, JK null phenotype. So we have recessive allele. Okay. So most JK nulls are homozygous for the rare silent allele, uh, JK. So parents of JK, JK offspring are young that carry the JK gene. And children of the JK parents, so they type na they are type uh, either positive for the A or the B, but never both positive. Okay, because they are genetically JKA, JK or JKB, JK. Okay, so um, recessive for uh, homozygous recessive, diba? Para ma express signals. Okay, so both uh, if parents, uh, parents of these people either JKA uh, A positive sila or B positive, but never plus plus. Because if they have both B A and B, so hindi nila makukuha or hindi ma express on the offspring new recessive na JK lang. Okay, ayun.
Okay. So next one, we have the Lewis system. Okay. ISBT number 007. So named after one of the first individuals to make the antibody. So Lewis antigen are absorbed into the RBC membrane from the plasma. Okay. So they are found in the plasma. Okay. LE as the system symbol for Lewis. So LE gene is located in chromosome 19 as well as the SE gene. Magkasama sila. So gene interaction, LE gene must be inherited for the conversion of precursor to LEA. And the SE gene must also be present for the conversion to LED. So, if the LE gene and SE gene is not inherited, so hindi may express si LEA and neither yung si LED. Okay. So, for the LE gene, so we have different antigens, LEA, LED, LEAB, BH, so ALED and DLEB. So, we have uh, different antibodies. So, Lewis antibodies, they are naturally occurring. Okay, so, naturally occurring sila. So, they are made by LE null individuals. So, generally, they are IgM and does not cross the placenta. So, they do not cause HDFN. So, agglutinate, they agglutinate sa lane suspended RBCs but are fragile and can easily disperse. If the cell button is not gently resuspended after centrifugation. So they also bind complement. So anti LEA may cause in vitro hemolysis. So, first one anti LEA, they are the most commonly encountered Lewis antibody. So they react most often at room temperature, but sometimes at 37 degrees Celsius. They causes HDR to patients who are transfused with LEA positive RBCs. LEB naman, usually an IgM agglutinin, and can bind complement. So they are classified into two categories. So anti-LEBH, so they act when both LEB and H antigens are present on the RBC. So anti-LEBL recognizes any LEB antigen regardless no man of the ABO type. So Lewis antigens, they are found on lymphocytes and platelets and on other tissues such as the pancreas, stomach, intestine, skeletal muscle, renal cortex, and adrenal glands. So not intrinsic to the RBC membrane and are readily shed from transfused RBCs within a few days of transfusion. So LE antibodies rarely causes hemolysis of transfused RBCs. So development of Lewis antigens. So LEA and LEB glycoproteins, they are present in the saliva of newborns. So LEA and LEB glycolipids are not detectable in the plasma until about 10 days after birth. Okay, so 10 uh, before, so at the birth, so lahat sila, ng lahat ng infants ay LE, uh, LE null phenotype muna of newborns and infants okay so lea is the first to develop if the le gene is present so magde develop si lea so leb is the next to develop if the secretor transferase activity increases but if not so ang magiging expression niya is lea positive b negative
Okay. So for example, wait, so let's go. So A positive. So the express uh, LEA Muna and B negative in the first 10 days. Okay, so after 10 days, so this could be the phenotype ng uh, baby. But uh, if the secretor transferase is activity, that will change to both positive kasi magda-develop si LED. But later on, it will change into negative na si A and positive si B. So, this can be seen after six years. So, this is called the true LE phenotype. Okay? So, true LE phenotype can be seen after six years pa. So, depending on the gene na na, na, na mana ni nung bata. Okay? So, after six years. So that's it for the first part of the lesson.